Okay, in this video we're going to be talking about unknown coefficients and identities. So we've actually used this already in uh, our factor theorem questions, but now we're going to look at ju just it itself. So we used it without really knowing what we were doing, so you might have uh, skipped ahead of those videos to this video just to understand it. Anyway, unknown coefficients and identities, uh, they aren't too hard, okay? Um, the trick with them basically is not to mix. So here we have C, A, and B are the letters we're trying to get, the coefficients, not to mix them with this side. So keep the left-hand side separate from the right-hand side and it'll solve itself, okay? So don't try to mix them up. Uh, you'll just end up confusing yourself and you won't get a right answer, okay? So the first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna just multiply this side out. And uh, I'm gonna do it in blue. So I'm gonna keep the C separate for now. We're gonna get X squared minus 2AX plus A squared plus b is equal to 3x squared minus 6x plus 5, okay? Then we'll multiply the c by everything in this uh, bracket here. We're gonna get cx squared minus 2ACx plus a squared c plus b is equal to, and then the right-hand side, 3x squared minus 6x plus five. So again, I haven't changed the right-hand side at all. I just I haven't mixed them at all. Then the next trick is, so it's identity. So saying that it's obviously an equation. So this side has to be equal to this side. Um, and we basically group the terms. So we say, I'm going to use orange. This CX squared has to be equal to this 3X squared because they're both X squared. Then this 2ax or minus 2a 2acx has to be the same as this minus 6. Okay, again, that's called an identity. And the last one we use pink for that a squared c plus b has to be equal to plus 5. So make sure it's the whole thing here, not just a squared c or not just b. It's the whole thing is equal to the whole thing. So we're going to write those out. We're going to say cx squared is equal to 3x squared. And that just means that c is equal to 3. Oh, sorry, I wrote cubed there. Uh, forget that. There, that's a square there. Um, but yeah, sorry. Does that make sense? So if cx squared is equal to 3x squared, that means c has to be equal to 3. Okay, and it's an equation, so we know that cx squared is equal to 3x squared. So that's our first one. Next one, we're going to do this one here. I'll do this in guess, dark blue. We're going to have minus 2acx is equal to minus 6x. Can get rid of the c or the, the x's? It's going to be minus 2ac is equal to minus 6. Okay, we know that c is equal to 3, and we're going to get rid of these two minuses here, just because there's a minus on each side. We can just get rid of them. Um, so we're going to have 2a multiplied by 3 is equal to 6. That's going to be 6a is equal to 6, and a is equal to 1. Okay, that's that identity done. And the last one is uh, this one here. So we're going to find b from looking at this last one. We're going to do this in pink. a squared c plus b is equal to 5. So I'll write that down here. a squared c plus b is equal to 5. So we're going to say that b is equal to 5 minus a squared c. Um, and that means that b is going to be equal to 5 minus 1 squared multiplied by c. And c again is c is equal to 3 by 3. So b is going to be 5 minus 3. b is equal to 2. Okay, so that's all we need to do. It's just a short video on um, identities and coefficients. So the only trick really is keep the left-hand side separate from the right-hand side. So you can get more complicated questions, but they all work off the same principle that the x squareds have to be equal to the x squareds, the x's have to be equal to the x's, and the constants have to be equal to the constants. So you use that same principle again, and you can solve more complicated problems. But this is just the basic one to show you the idea. Okay, I hope this helped, and thanks for watching.